friends, welcome back to Music Time with Mrs. Doty. Today is April 22nd and it happens to be Earth Day. So today I have a project for you to use some recycled materials at home and make your own instrument. We're going to be making a guitar out of a tissue box and a paper towel roll. And it actually makes a sound. Kind of like a guitar using rubber bands. So let me show you what you'll need first and then I'll show you how to make your very own tissue box guitar. So the things you'll need no matter what if you choose to do this project are a tissue box. I like the kind that has a hole already in the middle because the hole is going to help project the sound. But if yours doesn't have a hole in the middle, you can cut a hole or you could even use a cereal box and cut a hole or a shoe box and cut a hole. But mine already has a hole which is really nice. You will also definitely need rubber bands to make the sounds of the strings. Um, and it works best if you have rubber bands that are different thicknesses. So some that are thick and some that are thin and skinny. Because the different thicknesses will make different notes on your guitar. You'll need some glue sticks or glue bottles and or tape. I'm going to be using both just to make it extra secure. And if you want a handle, you'll need a paper towel roll, but you could also just do it with just the tissue box and um, not have a handle on your guitar. Then if you want to decorate it, you're going to need some colored paper, crayons or markers, and I liked to add some stickers to mine. So I've got some stickers too. You will also need two pencils which are gonna help project the sound a little bit more, and one pencil to help you make some tracing marks. Okay, now that I've got all my materials gathered, the first step we're gonna do is if you're going to decorate your tissue box, we're gonna do that first. So I picked out the colors I want for my tissue box. I'm gonna make the box yellow, and I'm gonna make the handle purple. So I've got my paper colors ready to go. I've got my glue and my tape, and my tracing pencil, and I forgot to mention earlier that you're gonna, of course, need scissors to cut the paper to the right size. So let me show you how I am going to cover my box in tissue paper, and, or in um, colored paper, and then I will speed through the process because that's gonna take me a while. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to measure how long my box is by putting the box up to the edge of the paper and making a little mark where the box stops. Okay, hopefully you can see my little mark there. And then I'm going to cut along that mark. Okay, now this is scrap, we don't need that anymore. And then I'm going to tape this to the side, to the top, and to the side, and wrap it around to the bottom to cover this side. And then I'm going to do the same thing with the other side, which I could just trace this paper because we know it'll be the same size. So I could trace this paper for that. And then you're also going to need to do the same thing for the short sides of your tissue box. So I'm going to do the same thing right now. I'm going to put it on my paper, light it up with the edge. And this time I'm going to mark along the long side of the tissue box because that will make a skinnier piece to cover the skinnier sides. So let me go ahead and cut that one out. There's my scrap. All right, so this skinnier piece is going to go on this side, like that, covering that side, and on this side, covering that side. So I'm gonna go ahead and cover my box with yellow paper, and I'll be back after that.
Okay, now that I've got my box all covered, it's time for me to cover my handle, which is my paper towel roll. So I picked out a purple paper this time for my paper towel roll. And I'm basically just going to cover the whole thing and roll the paper around the paper towel roll. So let me do that real quick and then I'll show you how I'm gonna attach it to the body of my guitar. Okay, so now that we've got our tissue box and our paper towel roll all covered in paper, it is time to attach them. So there's a couple ways you could do this. If you have a grown up at home who could use scissors or a knife for you to cut a hole the same size as your paper towel roll tube, you could actually cut a hole in your tissue box and then stick this through the hole and attach it that way. But I'm gonna do it a little bit of a different way so that I don't have to use a knife to cut a hole in the side of my tissue box. So what I'm gonna actually do is I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm gonna cut small notches all the way around my paper towel roll and it's going to create a, a spiral. Let me show you on my other one. Hope maybe you can see that, a spiral around the tube that's going to help me glue it on the tissue box. So let's do that. All right, so I made notches all the way around. Now I'm gonna bend them down to make my little spiral. And now it should look like that. And I'm gonna attach this here with my glue stick or I could use tape again. So give me a second to do that. Now I'm just holding this here to help the glue stick. I'm gonna hold it here for a couple minutes and help the glue get stuck to that tissue box and then hopefully when I let go, it'll be nice and stuck. Okay, it's pretty well stuck on there, but I'm gonna leave it alone and not touch it for a couple minutes to help that glue dry and get really firmly stuck. Okay, my tube is pretty well stuck on there now, so I can go ahead and add my rubber bands. So when you're looking at your rubber bands, the best thing to do is find ones that have different thickness. So I've got one that's really, really, really thin, one that's kind of medium thickness, and this one's blue too, that's fun. And then I have a pretty thick one, and then I've got some others in case any of them snap, because sometimes that happens with rubber bands. So we're gonna stretch our rubber band over the whole box. I'm gonna start with this blue one. So I'm gonna stretch it over the whole box, like that and then make sure it is sticking over the opening in your box. So there's one, let's add four. Let's do my thick one next to that blue one. There we go. There's two. Doesn't sound like much yet because we're gonna need those pencils to help us 
Let's add three, this one. Okay. One, two, three, and one more. My really skinny one. There we go, we got our four rubber bands on there. Now when I pluck them right now, it doesn't sound like too much. Kind of, but what we're gonna add next is the pencils and those are going to help lift the rubber bands off the box to make a nice vibration. So let me get my pencils and then we'll show you what it sounds like after the pencils are added. Okay, I've got my two pencils here. And I also went ahead and grabbed my stickers and my markers so I can decorate after I put the pencils in. But we're gonna slide each pencil under the rubber bands like that. And then slide it to the end of the box. And mine sticks out because mine is a freshly unsharpened pencil. So mine sticks out. If you have broken pencils, this is a really great way to use up some broken pencils, which is what I did on my other one. I had this broken Christmas pencil that I used on that one. All right, we're gonna do the same thing with one on the top. So we're gonna slide it under all the rubber bands and then push it all the way up to the top. Now, the bands are sticking up above the hole a little bit more and it's gonna make a nicer sound. So now each one of my rubber bands makes a different sound when I pluck them and my guitar is done except for decorating. So let me decorate it and then I'll be right back to show you my final guitar. All right guys, I scoot you in a little closer so you can see my guitar all finished. I wrote, I love music and music rocks on it. Let's see what it sounds like too. Here, I'll put it really close. You can really hear those sounds. So, Sounds pretty cool, sounds kind of like a real guitar, and I made it all by myself, which is the coolest part. So if you make this project, I would love to see your pictures or videos of you playing your own tissue box guitar. And that is it for today. I will see you guys again soon. Bye for now.